Today we're going to talk about Yukon vs Marquette and one area that like even though this game wasn't perfect for Marquette, that Marquette does so well. They do this better than I think any other team in the nation. This is an example of them playing absolutely beautiful defense. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing of note is that this play happens. This is the defense after a dead ball. Okay, so they have their original offensive possession, which they get a decent look at um, regardless, but on defense is what we're looking at right now. Okay, so there's some communication right here, and they are in zone. So this is something they discussed with Shaka Smart in the timeout, and Marquette is brilliant enough to be able to figure it out, discuss it before Connecticut gets down the floor, and make sure they're organized. So there are so many aspects to talk about here, but this is maybe you can call it a 1-2-2 two, two, or a 3-2, but it's kind of like an amoeba zone where you have rules and you have roles, but it's mostly predicated on discussion and talk about where the players are around the court. Okay, so we can see there's constant discussion when they have to shift over for players. You can see Cole like pointing over there. They have discussion about when the screen is set and you have players that are rotating and you have just so good a flow around the, around the defense, something that you just do not see. Okay, you can see constant discussion Bullock again is pointing, one is pointing where the players are. They're so aware of the spacing where everyone needs to be. And then this is my absolute favorite part. When the clock gets low enough, they simply switch into man-to-man. -to -man. Okay, so now the shot clock is at 10. They simply switch into essentially man-to-man -man principles and they help down on Klingon because everyone essentially knows what their role is. Everyone is spaced out. You're providing aggressive help. That's fine, probably in that situation. And Overall, a very positive defensive possession for them. And then immediately following this, because they don't want Connecticut to take advantage of their zone, they simply just switch to man. This is the versatility that Marquette provides and their brilliance of Shaka Smart coaching them on, on defense is they are so elite on defense. Hey, again, what do we see right here? We see dead ball. Okay, so what is that? That should trigger something in your mind to think, oh, is Shaka Smart gonna go to something? Okay, so first we see this 1-2-2 from Marquette, which I like a lot. I think UConn did a very good job against it, but I still like their 1-2-2 for sure. Okay, so we look and see how aggressive and how active all the defenders are from Marquette. You have Iguodaro that's able to cover so much ground that gives you so much more versatility. You have a great communication. Ideally, someone's gonna step up here. Okay, so that's, that's subpar. That's a miscommunication somewhere, but even despite this, they're able to refocus immediately and make sure they get back immediately in their zone. This is difficult. Usually it's just an instant, like, oh, we kind of messed up. We're unsure what to do. It's chaos. They get a dunk or they get a layup out of it. But Marquette is able to react and Colette gets a hand on that. And then now they're set up just in their straight zone, just for, again for one possession, which I absolutely love. Hey, we can see Colette is facing this direction. Connecticut is trying to set up something. I guarantee that they had to abandon whatever their sideline out of bounds play was because of Marquette's defense right here. Okay, so again, great space and great communication. Colex pointing immediately. Gotta love that. Absolutely love that. Okay, hands are up, hands are spaced. Connecticut does the right thing, gets the ball to the middle, but they that's this is the beautiful thing. A lot of zones would be like, oh, that's the big man's responsibility. That's somebody else's responsibility. 23 just simply comes with them. Okay, they're like, oh. Okay, let's just do the simplest thing, and 23 is already there. Just follow them there, and we'll match up outside of it. Okay, so they transition from that zone, and now they are in man-to-man, -man, and they essentially follow the same principles absolutely wonderfully, and they stay home, they get through screens, and like instantly, they're no longer in a zone. Everyone is on the same page. They're so aware of when that shift changes. That is so elite of defense. Like, that is so difficult to coach and so difficult for players to understand. Even though Cam Spencer still does an elite job of getting to the rim, and this is still great defense from Marquette. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about how Marquette can really emphasize their strengths on offense, feel free to check out this link right here. Also, feel free to like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Bless.